Hi guys and welcome back. So, quick question. Does this Orwell's quote apply to opera? We cannot do this every time. I think so. Why was opera born in Italy and not elsewhere as a vocal style, as a, as a vocal genre? Why opera? Why the name? Opera is the plural of the neutral Latin noun opus which means everything from work to, 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 to action to uh, craft. So the plural, because this monster that was purposely created when opera was conceived, had the goal to feature, to display, it was a fair of the Italian genius, to display all the things that the Italians of the 1600 could do best, which was, uh, of course, music, of course, clothes and, and, and painting and scenes and engineering and architecture. But definitely the language did the job by itself. The beauty of Italian language stretched in order to make it bigger. That is opera. Can you imagine in a piece of art like opera, which is founded on the language, on the features of the language, can you imagine how penalizing can be to get the pronunciation wrong? I've always loved the fact that spell is used both for the spelling of, of names of letters and as well for enchantments because that really brings us back to the original purpose of the language. If you don't know the spell, you cannot make the magic because the magic is in that spell, word by word, vowel by vowel, syllable by syllable. You will never know you will really never know what was the purpose of writing that music because it's like pronouncing the spell wrong. The magic won't happen. I mean, the vocal technique was originally born with the sole purpose to make everyone understand what the singers were saying to make everyone able to follow the story. I, an Italian native speaker, need subtitles whenever I go watch an opera. So the purpose and the spell and the magic is completely lost. What is even more incredible is that whenever the listener is not Italian, the beauty of diction is even more important to make the message understood. What made opera opera is its Italianness, and we all know that even when opera is sung in other languages, German, Russian, French, or English, or whatever it is, we tend to match the pronunciation, the R's, and a lot of consonants, to the Italian ones, for a reason. Because that's the main feature of the Italian language. It sings. So one of the main features of opera was definitely, definitely the language. And they knew well because the project of the diffusing the, the Florentine Vulgar as a national language had been going on for over 300 years, years already, almost 400 since. Dante and even before, because all the banks were in Florence, so the power, the economic power was in Florence, and they each uh, state in Italy uh, knew very well how important it was to diffuse their own language for economical purposes, and remember that right after the Italian unification, which happened in the late 1800s, the first Italians could not understand each other.
So Italy is a very variegated and wide concept that was brought together by the linguistic unification, which is always a political action, a political move. The opera during the Risorgimento, Verdi, that was the most political thing you could do in an Italy that had just been made. And, you know, the, the motto was, now we have to make Italians, because there, there were actually no Italians. That was uh, Verdi's job, to write arias that were very easy to remember that could be uh, played and repeated in all the squares for all the the celebrations of the saints and and so the language would diffuse and, and this is how Italy was made. 